This is the Rougarou, and we're in beautiful downtown Desalmonds, Louisiana. Got a perfect day for testing these panels out, not a cloud in the sky. So we're going to check these things out, see how long it takes to charge some common devices. On the right here, we have the black box 7 watt solar panel, and on the left, we've got the Gold Zero Nomad 7. As you can see, the black box packs down a little bit smaller. It's got a smaller footprint. It's a little bit thicker than the Gold Zero is, but the Gold Zero's got the power pack in it with the little pouch on the inside. So it's actually not all that much different, especially when you start putting plugs and wires and things of that nature in this little pocket. So it's actually not that bad. First impressions is this is a solid little piece of equipment. It seems well constructed. There's no no seams or anything of that nature in it. You got four panels. Came with a little instructional pack sheet sitting inside here. Got your USB plug on this side. Uh, we're going to see how this thing stacks up to the Nomad 7. What I've got here is I've got just plain old, old school e ink Kindle. We're going to see how long it takes. As you can see, it does say it's got an empty battery. It's been sitting in storage for about three or four months, so it's nice and dead. And the other one is the trusty Droid Bionic cell phone, which, as you can see here, maybe, it has 5% power remaining not a whole lot at all it is very near death so we're gonna plug these things in time it see how long it takes to take charge in the full sunlight and we'll get back to you on the second part of the video with the results this is part two of the product comparison between the black box 7 watt solar charger which is on the left and the Gold Zero Nomad 7 which is on the right Yesterday there wasn't a cloud in the sky, completely sunny, zero cloud cover. And today it's been, as you can see, there are a few clouds, but it's it's mainly been only, I'd say probably 10% cloud cover sporadically during out the day. As you can see now, it's direct bright sunlight. It is now 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and I have had the black box connected to my droid Bionic down there on the deck since about 10 o'clock. Uh, unfortunately, since I only had one device and the Kindle takes so long to discharge, the Gold Nomad 7 is just sitting there. Yesterday, from the results, the droid connected to the Nomad only took four hours to bring it to 100% charge. Whereas today, with the droid connected to the black box, we'll see what the results are. And after seven hours, it's reading only 60% charge. Um, I'd like to be able to say that that's probably all cloud cover, but I honestly don't think so as the sun's been pretty steady all day long. Now yesterday the Kindle charged from completely dead battery to 100% in 6 hours. Again, I would have liked to have connected the Nomad and seen how long the Kindle takes to charge it, but it, since it takes such a ridiculously long time for a Kindle to discharge, that was not possible. Uh, all in all, it's 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 a pretty good. I guess if you want to save, you know, twenty thirty bucks, you could probably go for the for the black box. But the the Nomad Seven, as expected, just completely shines in its regard. Um, the, the other thing that the Nomad 7 has over the black box is the ability to connect the Guide 10 power pack to it, as you can see with the plug on the side there, or uh, a separate 12 volt plug, which I do have. Uh, now one thing the black box does have going for it, again it does pack into a smaller size, so that might be useful in your applications. I hope you've enjoyed this review and come back when we'll hopefully have some other reviews.